It's time for another what sold video. I'm going to share with you guys what sold for me on eBay and Poshmark last week. That would be August 30th to September 5th, 2020. We're going to dive right in. I'm sorry. Oh, I would like to mention, I apologize. Last week was my birthday, so I'm quite late with this what sold. Either way, free shipping on all these items on eBay, and we're going to jump right in. This is a set of four antique glasses that I paid a little bit less than $5 a piece for. I ended up selling this set for $35. Again, everything on eBay is free shipping to the buyer. That same estate sale, I picked up a bunch of political um, ephemera and collectibles. This was one of them. It sold for $14 and it was just like a little paper standing elephant. This heart-shaped basket box I bought with the intention of selling and then my daughter loved it so much that it ended up going in her room for quite some time. Um, after we did a purge of her room, I put this up and it sold like the very next day for $37.46. This little honey pot uh, with a wooden kind of dowel thing sold for $18.35. This was a super long tail item. It took forever to sell. This is like a uh, picnic or party basket for your napkins and knives, whatever, all your little accessories. This sold for $41.97. This next item is a set of porcelain door handles and hardware. It took a while for this to sell, uh, but I will say that architectural salvage pieces, light switches, doorknobs, things like that that are unique, um, will sell and they usually sell pretty quickly. This set sold for $41.97. Here's another one of those Bath and Body Works lotions. These have made me quite a bit of profit at this point. This particular scent sold for $15 and then I got a sweet little message from the buyer saying how much she loved that scent and how grateful she was to have it. And I just love stuff like that. I love when I get a message from a buyer about something that I sold to them um, makes me really happy. So this Eskimo or a little carved Inuit guy had a real fur a coat on and his little pet squirrel or whatever. He sold for $18. This little lamp, um, I was hesitant about even listing because while it's cute, it was really rusted and and kind of cheap if I, you know, like it was real thin metal and stuff. So I was like, ah, is it even worth it? I ended up listing it and it sold pretty quickly for $22.94. Here is a seasonally appropriate item. <laughs> this little Mickey Mouse blow mold candy bucket I actually bought for like 50 cents a super long time ago. It took me forever to list it and my kids played with it for the longest time. We just sort of kicked it around the house until I was like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and list this item. I listed it. It sold the very same day for the full on sale asking price of $37.46. So yeah, maybe I should have listed that sooner. I don't know. <laughs> This item has kind of a funny story. So I was going to an Amish auction for a long time. And at the Amish auction, most items, even large furniture items and everything else goes for like a dollar two dollars. This particular item was attached to a door with a glass pane, um, like windows in it. And what I was doing for the longest time was I was buying all these wooden doors and these glass pane doors. And I ended up accumulating like 10 or 15 of these doors. My intention was to build a door shed because at the time I was super into Pinterest. And for some reason, I thought I had the ambition or the time or the ability to build a small shed out of doors. Come to find out the doors sat in my yard long enough that they all became completely rotted. The glass was breaking out. Everything was falling apart. Um, this doorknob on the one door I was like I'm absolutely gonna save this but I could not get it off so I waited and waited and waited and eventually the door became so rotted the wood on the door was so jacked up that I was able to literally like pull it apart with my hands and take this 
doorknob and door plate set which is absolutely gorgeous copper and then it has this like perfectly beautiful patina off of the door so that I could sell it I did mention in the listing that I am not able to get it apart so whomever bought it hopefully they can soak it or do whatever they need to do to get it apart I made $55 on this doorknob set again the architectural salvage is definitely worth picking up for the right price obviously this next item I sold for $20 even I paid 50 cents for it recently at a yard sale and it is just like a little acrylic clock with the beautiful picture of roses and it was by this um, this person here and it was made in 1994 so it was vintage so yeah that sold pretty quickly for twenty dollars this set of four books about fighter planes sort of a children's book set sold for twenty three dollars and ninety seven cents uh, Certo bottles. I picked up quite a few of these Certo bottles. I'm selling them individually. As you can see, I sold six um, with seven available. Actually, I sold two of these this this week for $9.94 a piece. Here's a bolo. If you guys find these like hand like wooden stamps. It doesn't really even matter what the stamp is. They sell and they sell really fast for a pretty fair price. I paid 50 cents for this stamp and I sold it for $15.95. Um, and it was unique in that it actually said photographs across it, but the stamp said do not bend. <laughs> Either way, it still sold. Again, another Cer Certo bottle for $9.94. This camera strap I got in an estate sale and they were selling the camera with it, but I'm not a huge fan of selling old cameras, especially if I can't test them. So I asked if I could just buy the strap off the camera because I thought that the strap was like super cool, embroidered, vintage, um, really unique camera strap. And I actually sold it for full asking price of $29.94. Here we go again with the light switch covers. This one I thought was heinous, but I knew somebody would love it. It went to Texas, go figure, and it sold for $16.94. And if you're into like the whole Western horses thing, this is absolutely perfect, isn't it? <laughs> this film tin took almost four years to sell, guys. I had this thing, this is like one of the first items I ever listed. And it ended up selling for $13.95. And then the last item that I sold last week on eBay is this vintage Pronto Polaroid land camera with the box and some flash bulbs and attachments and the booklets and all that jazz. This sold for $45 even. Um, and I would say, you know what, guys, I don't know. The, these cameras are hit or miss. I usually sell them if they're Polaroid um, right around the $15 to $30 mark. So it's up to you. Do your research. If it has more attachments and, and um, is in pretty good shape, it's more likely to sell if you can test it even better. But yeah, that's everything that sold on me for eBay last week, August 30th to September 5th, 2020. And we're going to go ahead and jump into Poshmark sales. All right, jumping into Poshmark. Uh, this should be really quick because I only had four sales last week on Poshmark. The first of them being this vintage Hanes sweater with the little girl on it. And then it had like the puffy paint, little rain coming down. I sold it for $15 minus the shipping discount. I made $4.89. This was a super heavy, like almost a woven horse jacket, bolero maybe, like a crop type of deal. Anyway, it sold for $12 minus a shipping discount. I made $9.05. This shirt was from my personal closet and it sold for $15 minus a shipping discount. $4.89 was my profit there. And then last but not least, I sold this torrid dress that I got at a yard sale. It did fit me, but I just... I don't know, I don't really wear maxi dresses that often. So I sold it for $18. No shipping discount. I made $14.40. So 
So that's it guys, that's everything I sold on eBay and Poshmark last week. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button if you like the content. In the meantime you guys, happy hunting!